Hello, Lakeview Youth. Ernie here. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in and joining us for our quick uh, Friday night devotional called Just a Thought. And uh, it literally just is that. It is just a thought maybe that I'm thinking for today or maybe it is just something that the Lord has put on my heart. Uh, and I hope maybe you would like to share in that. You'd like to hear what I'm thinking. Uh, so I hope you're doing okay right now in this time of quarantine and uh, being isolated uh, from a lot of outside things. Uh, and that, you know what, is the best way of dealing with this. Um, and I just hope that you're doing okay in your mind and in your heart. I know that times like this can, uh, can be really discouraging. Um, and it is not good for, for everybody to be alone, but I promise you it is just a time, it is just a season, um, and this will pass, and we will get through this, uh, and we will survive, and we will come out the other end, knowing the goodness of God, knowing how faithful He is, and how true He is to His Word. So tonight, I just want to share this quick thought. I want to ask you a question tonight. What does bravery mean to you? What does it mean to be brave? I was chatting with my mom uh, a few nights ago there, uh, and she was telling me that at 8 p.m., uh, everybody on her street and everybody in Belfast, pretty much, all went out to their front doors at 8 p.m. They went to the front doors and everybody started clapping and applauding all of our health service workers, all of those who work for the NHS because of what is happening back home. I think back home in the UK, it is a little bit more intense than what we're seeing here in Canada and maybe especially in Bonneville at the minute. Uh, I think we and ourselves are a little bit isolated from, from what's happening, but they are, uh, I think, a lot more uh, ahead of the game when it comes to some of these measures. But everybody, pretty much everybody in Belfast at their front door, 8 p.m., applauding and shouting and cheering and showing their support for the healthcare workers who are working non-stop to try and prevent the spread of this virus. And to me, that comes across as very brave, what these health workers are doing right now. Uh, you know, the thought that there is a, a very infectious virus going on around the world, and these people, these men and these women have to be right in front of those who are infected with the high risk of them uh, receiving the virus themselves. That in itself is very, very brave. Uh, and I know there are a lot of things that maybe came to your mind as soon as I asked you and as soon as I said about what does bravery mean to you. Maybe you have a, uh, a bit of a story that you'd like to share at some point about what you think it means to be brave. I'd love to hear it. Uh, so uh, comment along, interact, and tell me what you think it means to be brave. You know, there's a great scripture that talks about what it means to be brave. And it's found in the book of Psalms. I'm going to read it to you now, uh, and then we'll talk about it a little bit. The scripture says, Wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courageous. Yes, wait patiently for the Lord. I said this last week in, in our little video, that we are in a season of waiting right now to see what is going to happen. And we know that the Lord is going to follow through, and the Lord is going to provide throughout all of this. Um, but what this is telling us to do is to wait patiently on the Lord and to be brave throughout it all. Uh, I know for a lot of you, and um, we talked about this as well last week, about how um, this can be a very uh, tricky time for a lot of our mental health right now. I know a lot of you guys in our youth group and I know faces coming to my head right now uh, in particular, who I'm talking about and who I'm thinking about. But there's a lot of you that struggle with major anxiety and that also leads into forms of depression with some of you. Um, and there's a lot of parents out there that would be actually very shocked to hear that. A lot of per parents maybe don't fully understand or grasp the concept that uh, a lot of us can struggle with major anxiety and depression. And right now this whole situation is not helping. Uh, I know that all of you guys, you are social beings and you love to interact and you love to be with one another. Uh, and I know right now being kind of cramped up in your house is like, it's just not the most exciting thing to be going through right now. Um, but I know a lot of you do struggle with anxiety. Um, 
and further on into sadness and depression. Um, but right now, I want to ask you, for those of you who struggle with that, some of you don't, but a lot of you do. I want to ask you to be brave tonight. I want to ask you to wait patiently on the Lord right now. Understand that God's heart is for you. It's not against you. I know right now also that in this time, it's really hard to be genuinely happy about what is going on around you. You know, scripture has a great way of talking uh, about happiness, and it has a great way of rephrasing and re-looking at the whole word of what happiness means. And scripture give us, gives us this amazing word, and they say joy, not happiness, joy. And there is uh, one of my favorite scriptures of all time that says that the joy of the Lord is our strength. And for a lot of you, you may be feeling kind of beat up and quite weak right now, and you feel like you're in a place where you need strength. Well, I wanna encourage you to seek the joy, to seek the joy of the Lord in all of this. Wait on Him, be patient, be brave, for whatever you're facing. I know that uh, a lot of you have had so much stuff put on hold in your life. You've had um, you've had sports canceled, you've had outings and trips, and, and that really, really sucks. But be brave, be patient, wait on the Lord in this time. Uh, and for those of you who are feeling really anxious right now, uh, I'm thinking about you, and I'm praying for you. And I know that we're gonna get through this. So please, give me a call, give me a text, give me whatever, just make contact with me. Uh, I'm here for you right now. Uh, if you would like to talk anytime, any hour, any day, I'd love to chat to you. Uh, even if that's just a phone call, it's just nonsense. <laughs> I would just love to connect with you. Uh, but I'm here for you. If you feel as if you're going through something right now that you cannot handle, 587-201-8818. Uh, or connect through our church website uh, or Facebook or YouTube. Uh, I'm going to see you soon. Hang in there. We're going to get through this. God bless.